Once again, y'all, we're grieving for more kids that have died for just an absolute no reason at all. Rebecca, the, the governor was embroiled in multiple scandals, show, but what led to today's resignation? Right now, they're trying to, to get this shooter, whoever it is, Not to me, and not to any reasonable, yeah, decent yeah, woman or man. Yeah, nothing yeah, says female empowerment like a bunch of actual mean girls. That's the country that phone call or that knock on the door. We need to do better as people are failing our children. So I want to respect them and honor them. With tonight, y'all, let's, in your community, where you live, your friends, everybody, let's have a moment of action. Come talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left to see while I was sleeping Remember just walking in the vision and, walking, and feeling like that I was, was planted in my we all brain. We saw a bag of Oreos. Still in just seeing some food just got me so happy. And I think I was, we had to share a little bag of Oreos between you know other you people. The streams I walked I alone, whether it's sunny or snowing, rain, streets, I still go to school because for me, education is important. Neath the halo of a street I found out that <laughs> I think I have a hole in my, my boot where I'm wearing the it to the I think the shoe's pretty small Where my Lift eyes will stare by the flash of a neon light Split the That the torch has been passed and To the a new sand. generation of Americans Born in this century Tempered by war, disciplined by a hard and bitter peace, proud of our ancient heritage, and unwilling to witness or permit the slow undoing of those human rights to which this nation has always been committed and to which we are committed today at home and around the world. At 9.05 uh, this evening, we received a call of a, uh, a shooting that had occurred at the church here on Calhoun Street. Uh, we were able to determine that there were uh, eight deceased individuals inside of the church. I forgive you. You took something very precious away from me. I will never talk to her ever again. I will never be able to hold her again. But I forgive you. You know, I forgive you, my family forgive you. But we would like you to take this opportunity. Train my mom for the world. <laughs> I've looked over. Oh. <laughs> And I've seen the promised land.
That's right. This is not the first time we've talked about an incident at a, at a Trump rally. Uh, this is just the latest episode of some violence breaking out at one of his events. But uh, our hearts are, are with the staff of Charlie Hebdo and their families tonight. Carrying offensive signs and chanting hateful slogans, four protesters tried to interrupt Saturday's funerals, but they were blocked from view by heavenly volunteers who dressed up as angels. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be built. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. community peace does not require that each man love his neighbor. It requires only that they live together in mutual tolerance, submitting their disputes to a just and peaceful settlement. Peace need not be impractical, and war need not be inevitable. By defining our goal more clearly, 
by making it seem more manageable and less remote. We can help all people to see it, to draw hope from it, and to move irresistibly towards it. Genuine peace must be the product of many nations, the sum of many acts. It must be dynamic, not static, changing to meet the challenge of each new generation. For peace is a process, a way of solving problems. So let us not be blind to our differences, but let us also direct attention to our common interests and the means by which those differences can be resolved. And if we cannot end now our differences, at least we can help make the world safe for diversity. For in the final analysis, our most basic common link is that we all inhabit this small planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's futures. And we are all mortal. The United States, as the world knows, will never start a war. We do not want a war. We do not now expect a war. This generation of Americans has already had enough, more than enough, of war and hate and oppression. We shall be prepared if others wish it. We shall be alert to try to stop it. But we shall also do our part to build a world of peace where the weak are safe and the strong are just. We are not helpless before that task or hopeless of its success. Confident and unafraid, we must labor on, not towards a strategy of annihilation, but towards a strategy of peace, the kind of peace that makes life on Earth worth living, the kind that enables men and nations to grow and to hope and build a better life for their children. Not merely peace for Americans, but peace for all men and women. Not merely peace in our time, but peace in all time.